here, hit them between the eyes, self-defense only, throat or solar plexus. <sighs> Accuracy is just as important as speed, strength, and power. You can't hit what you're aiming at. What good are the first three? In this workout, you're gonna get a lot better handling your bow staff. Grab your staff and follow me. Now in this workout, you're gonna warm up with basic strikes. Put your left foot in front of the right, hold both palms facing out like you're doing push-ups. Strike first to the left and then to the right. You're aiming at the temple. You're gonna punch hard, punch hard. When you bring it in, this one is gonna come to a stop right here in the upper part of your arm. You're gonna feel these a little bit. This is why I want you to start with these strikes today. I'm of the opinion that striking is less pleasant for most of us than spinning. Spinning is a lot more fun. But if you can't defend yourself with your staff, what's the point? Spinning is fun, it's cool, it's pretty, but it's not as important as being able to stop somebody by punching with the end of your staff into the temple and the knee for self-defense purposes only. Hold it again in the middle, we're going to up, up, now we're going down, down. Look at my hands, they're staying closed. I want you to stay closed, this is part of your warm-up. Get your wrists more flexible, hands stronger. Left foot forward again, punch up, punch up, punch down, punch down, switch. Right foot forward, up, up, down, down, switch. Start to breathe forcefully, switch. Get in the habit of switching once you start your warm up. And now, the first basic spin. Start with it in the right hand. You're gonna turn, turn, turn. Palm up, sliding down. Palm facing out. Grab it with the right. Turn it all the way over until it can't go any longer. Notice that my hands are still touching. Don't get in this habit. Something hits that with your hand open all the time, you're gonna lose your staff. And again, it's about self-defense. Spins are fun, super important for strength and control of the staff, but don't get in the habit of opening your hand and focusing only on spins. Notice how close my hands stay together on the transfer. Bring that to a stop by opening the left hand, push down, now the right hand turns up. Now there's a chance as I think about it, I may have said the wrong hand earlier. If I did, please catch me. Say, I caught you, you made a mistake. Let me tell you a secret. All day long I make mistakes. I make mistakes in relationships, I make mistakes in business, I make mistakes in my personal finances. I make mistakes driving down the street. I make mistakes talking to people. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. The more mistakes you make, the more successful you're gonna be at anything in life. In fact, if you're living a life with no mistakes, you're timid, huddled in the corner, hoping somebody comes and gives you something. It's a miserable way to live. Get out there, start making mistakes. Go faster, faster, drop your staff, hit your tripod, pick it up, and then keep going. That's the only thing that's important. Bring that to a stop, boom, that's how you bring that to a stop. Back to the strikes, I wanna do one more set before we move on. Palm out, palm up. My left foot's gonna be in front, my left palm is up, my right palm is down, my right leg's in back. I'm going to strike down at this angle, and again, I'm stopping it right there. You can also bring it under here. It's a little bit different. It's not good, not bad, it's just different. But we're bringing it here today. Bring it down and then punch straight across. Notice that I'm using force. <laughs> I 
it's hitting me here, right here on the top of the bicep, bottom of the shoulder. My arms don't bruise as much anymore, but yours might at the beginning. After a while, they won't. Don't be afraid. Get a couple of bruises. Then switch feet. Watch how I switch my palms. Keep your hand touching. Keep your hand touching. You don't have to do that. It's just good practice. Right foot forward, right palm up. Left leg back, left palm down. Bring it down at that angle. Your target could be the temple, the clavicle, their arm. Maybe they have a gun, maybe they have a weapon. Maybe they're trying to grab, maybe they're trying to punch your face, smash their hand out of the air for self-defense. Bring it straight across. That goes right there to the jaw, into the temple. Maybe the ribs, maybe they got a sword. For self-defense, bash them. Bring it down. Now, here's what I wanted you to learn today. This spin, you're spinning forward in this figure eight. Today, I've got my feet under my body, holding in the right hand first. Notice that my hand is closed. Spinning to the right side first, and you're gonna see, once you have more control and more strength, your arm will be stronger. You'll hold it out, you'll be mostly in the wrist. Small range of motion, but you can also move your forearm more, bending at the elbow, turning the hips, bigger range of motion. You can also get the whole arm into it, turning it more at the shoulder. At the beginning, you'll probably need to use more arm motion. You won't be here yet, unless your staff is super, super light. Don't worry about it. Don't overthink it. It's not wrong. There's no way to do this workout wrong. Just the fact that you're here doing it with me means you're doing it right. Now, bring that to a stop. Palm up in front of your body. Other palm up, pinky to pinky. Pull it out with your left. And on your left side, you're going to reverse the spin. Now it's a reverse figure eight or a reverse Infinity spin. Let me show you with this thumb what I mean. If I, well, you'll start my finger. Say a carve infinity sign. Sideways eight. That infinity sign. Now I'm holding my staff. I push my thumb and I trace. Using my thumb, my thumb is leading. That's the sideways figure eight. That's the infinity. To reverse it, put my thumb down, pop my pinky out, pull, pull. Pull, think of this, when I push, push, I'm striking with my staff. I'm striking, striking, striking. When I pull, carving, pull, then I'm deflecting, knocking away. So again, you're here on the right, you're doing a forward infinity, leading with the thumb. You bring it to the middle of your body, palm up, pinky to pinky, pull out, reverse. This is the beginning of the combination. Now, to get it back over to this side into that forward spin with my right hand, I need to turn my body and go into a forward spin. Palm to palm, same grab. Now it's in the right hand. Reverse to bring it back over. Turn, and your hand will naturally go. Your arm, no, look. My hand doesn't stop turning, and when I turn my body, my wrist will naturally push me into that forward spin. When I bring it back, see that extra little turn right here in the middle? That's my wrist figuring it out. My brain didn't do that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a scientist. Bring it back to the other side, grab it, pull it out, and now here, I want you to add a grab with the right hand. And grab with the right, and then go into the forward spin. Grab with the left, right, left, right. Left hand is doing a negative spin. Right hand is doing a negative spin. The left hand is now doing a forward spin. The right hand is now doing a forward spin. It's four moves. Bring it back here, palm up, bring it out, 
palm up, bring it up, reverse, and then here, it turns into a forward spin, and over here, the right hand grabs it again, forward spin, the left hand does a reverse, palm up, reverse, in the middle of the body, forward, forward. This little combination allows you to continue to spin as you're going from side to side without stopping, but it can be confusing to your brain until you break it down this way. We're going back to the beginning. We're going forward, I'm doing reverse. I do another reverse, this is the right hand, and then I bring it to the middle where I pick it up with the left, forward, the right forward. So it's two forward, two reverse. The very beginning is just one forward, and then two reverse, reverse, and here you pick up that third forward spin, and then back to that first forward spin, reverse, we'll call that two, we'll call this three, four is forward, one is forward. One is forward, two, reverse, three, reverse, four, forward, Let me show you how to get it to the other side behind your back. Just added one. One behind the back, two, reverse, reverse. Everything else is the same forward. The right hand starts forward, then it goes behind your back, and then out, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Watch what I'm doing. Just here, I'm out to the side. I go back. Thumb is up. My other hand grabs below it. I let go. Pull it out. Continue with the spin. Now you just reverse it on the other side, forward with the left, reverse right, reverse left, forward right, forward left, behind your back, pull it out with the right, reverse, reverse, forward, forward, behind the back, bring it back out. The best way to practice this is to break them down into each individual move starting with your forward, 30 seconds. And then reverse before you change hands, 30 seconds. Just put it in the other hand. Forward, 30 seconds. Reverse, 30 seconds. Put it in the other hand. Go behind your back, one side, back the other way. One minute. The third thing that you wanna do is practice up, change, 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 change. All I'm doing is every time I do a full spin, it goes in the other hand, this is forward, forward, reverse. That's reverse. what I want you to practice and I want you to finish one more set of strikes. You're going to start in that alternated grip and I want you to push into their stomach, into their solar plexus. This is the sternum bone, that's, that's muscles, that's guts, that's uh, all kinds of super sensitive stuff. You're gonna hit that, the diaphragm's behind it. <sighs> they won't be able to catch the breath for a second because you send the diaphragm, that's, <sighs> that's the breathing muscle, send it into a spasm with this stat, the tip. All your power is generated in this tip right here. It's isolated, it's focused right there, it's concentrated. So from here, I pull and I push, pull, push. Get in this habit. <laughs> turning the hand over. I started here, I finished here, I pull, strike. <laughs> left foot forward, <laughs> left palm down, <laughs> and then switch, palm, palm, 
turn it over. <laughs> Aim for that. Hang a tennis ball, drill a hole in it, use a knife, put a hole in it, put it on a tree limb so that it swings in front of you. Right here, hit them between the eyes, self-defense only, throat or solar plexus. That means from the tree limb down, you put it at one of those three heights. You can figure out using knots how to adjust it. You figure that out. Make a video, upload it, share it with the rest of us. Hang your tennis ball, try to hit it. Accuracy is just as important as speed, strength, and power. You can't hit what you're aiming at. What good are the first three? I'll see you on the next video.